We spend so much time building a digital reflection. But what happens when that reflection starts to feel like a stranger? What if the person you think you are isn't real at all? Ethan always thought he knew who he was. Like so many of us, he built his life on carefully crafted images, a digital mirror reflecting the version of himself he thought others wanted to see. But deep down, a question lingered. Was he more than the sum of these digital pieces, or had he become a product of the algorithms that shaped him? In an age where algorithms influence nearly every aspect of our lives, from the content we consume to the way we see ourselves, technology is reshaping our identity in profound ways. Reflections of the Self explores this evolving relationship between humans and AI, where tools once used for convenience are now intertwined with our understanding of who we are. This narrative follows Ethan's journey as he grapples with AI's role in redefining his self-perception, offering viewers a deep exploration of identity in the digital era. Ethan sits in his dimly lit apartment, scrolling through social media. He feels a familiar hollowness as he clicks through photos of friends and influencers, all seemingly more successful, happier, and confident than he is. His own posts, artfully curated snapshots of his life, are tailored to project an image of effortless happiness. Inside, though, he feels disconnected from the person he presents to the world. One night, he stumbles upon an ad for a new AI app called MirrorMind. The app claims to help users see themselves clearly by using machine learning to analyze online activity and provide a detailed breakdown of one's identity, both how they perceive themselves and how they are perceived by others. The promise is tantalizing. What if this tool could give Ethan the clarity he has been searching for? Could an AI finally help him understand who he truly is? Ethan downloads the app, allowing it to access his social media, photos, and personal data. The results come in waves, showing not just his personality traits, but deeper insights, his anxieties, tendencies, and patterns of behavior. It points out contradictions in his online persona, where he claims to be carefree, but his posts reveal underlying frustrations, or where his jokes mask insecurities. As the analysis deepens, Ethan is unnerved by how eerily accurate the AI's assessment seems. The mirror it holds up reflects back more than just the image he's crafted for the world. It delves into his inner life in ways he hadn't anticipated. The AI begins suggesting changes, subtle shifts in his behavior, and posts that would improve his personal brand. It tells him how to better engage his audience and how to optimize interactions for maximum validation. Ethan wonders, is he learning more about himself? Or is the AI molding him into something different? As days pass, Ethan becomes obsessed with the app's feedback. Self-perception theory, a psychological concept that suggests we learn about ourselves by observing our actions, starts to manifest in his life. The more he adjusts his behavior according to the app's suggestions, the more he internalizes those changes as authentic parts of himself. He begins to question his every action, wondering whether his choices stem from his true desires or the AI's recommendations. Ethan is experiencing the classic tension of self-perception. Are we shaped by what we do or by how others perceive us? In the digital age, the line between these two becomes increasingly blurred. Ethan's growing dependence on mirror mind reaches a breaking point. His social media following grows, and friends comment on how much more confident and authentic he seems. But behind this facade, Ethan feels more lost than ever. His posts, once an expression of his inner self, now feel like a carefully curated performance. When he looks in the mirror, he sees the person the AI has crafted, polished, engaging, always in control, yet he feels disconnected from that image, wondering if his true self has been buried beneath layers of digital advice and algorithmic feedback. 
The crisis hits when Ethan realizes that his friendships and interactions are changing as well. People treat him differently, responding to the persona he projects rather than the vulnerable, uncertain person he truly is. For the first time, he questions whether he's becoming the person he wants to be, or merely a version of himself designed for the internet. Ethan's realization comes during a conversation with Maya, a childhood friend who has always known him before the influence of social media and AI. Over coffee, Maya notices Ethan's subtle but profound changes. She doesn't interact with his online persona, and when Ethan begins to share his feelings about the AI, Maya challenges him. You can't rely on a machine to tell you who you are, she says. You've always known deep down. You've just been too afraid to listen. This moment marks a turning point for Ethan. He begins to question not just his reliance on the AI, but his entire digital life. He realizes that while AI can offer insights, it cannot capture the complexity of human experience. His identity, once a reflection of real interactions and inner thoughts, had become an algorithmic construct designed to fit into neatly defined categories. Ethan decides to take a step back from both social media and Miramind. He embarks on a journey of self-rediscovery, reconnecting with his passions, hobbies, and relationships in real life. He spends time away from his phone, immersing himself in new experiences and rediscovering old joys, reading books, exploring nature, and having deep, uninterrupted conversations. He begins to see himself in a new light, one that isn't dictated by likes, shares, or AI-generated insights. Through this journey, Ethan learns the value of introspection and human connection, understanding that while AI can offer guidance, it cannot replace the richness of the real world or the complexity of human emotion. The story concludes with Ethan returning to the digital world, but with a renewed perspective. He uses Miramind sparingly, recognizing it as a tool for self-reflection, not self-definition. The experience has shown him that identity is fluid, shaped by our actions, relationships, and personal growth, not just the data we leave behind online. Ethan's journey is a reflection of a broader truth. In an age of AI, we must be cautious not to let technology dictate who we are. While it can provide insights, true self-discovery comes from within. Ethan's final thoughts leave the audience with a question. How much of yourself is shaped by the world around you, and how much is shaped by who you want to be? In a world of endless filters and curated personas, we can easily lose ourselves to the digital reflection we create. But true self-perception, the kind that matters, comes not from an algorithm or a number of likes. It comes from within, from real moments, real connections, and the courage to embrace who we are beyond the screen.